I'm going to tell you something that I discovered by doing export of all my files that are on Google Photos and a lot of data. I was at my 15 gigabyte limit, so I had to clear it out. And it sorts it out into a takeout. It's called Google Takeout. So let me show you what Google Takeout does. It takes your photos and it goes dates, unless you put them in individual folders that you labeled separately, but like my phone automatically uploads all of these. And each of these breaks down into, some of them only have one JPEG in them, some of them have multiple, but for me to, be, to go through all of these folders individually and take out the JPEGs, I would have to go through a lot of folders as you can see. Also within these folders, you'll also see JSON files. There's usually more JSON files than there are JPEG images. And sometimes there's only JSON files that I've found on some of these dates, which is pretty frustrating. Um, and so if I want to save these JPEGs individually, like I'm backing them up on a hard drive, I can't just grab, I could grab all of these if I wanted to do just individually, but I don't want those JSON files. Those JSON files are actually metadata and they are attached to the JPEG if you were on Google and you went ahead and added in a caption or a date or something on it, then that's what these uh, JSON files are. You can actually read them with your text file. If you open them up, you can see what they say. So I wanted to find out a way that I could just take the JPEGs out of here instead of going through each individual one and downloading it. Uh, the thing that I was running into is people were telling me to do a search and to just do look for JSON files that were in there, search for all the JSON files, and then delete all of those. Then you still have to go into each of the individual folders and drag out, drag out the JPEGs, which is, as you can see from mine, extraordinarily time consuming. Now I haven't done this on a Mac. I've only done it on a PC. So this is just from the PC sense. What you're going to want to do is you can start out from your Google folders, however you have it organized, which is my main folder on my hard drive is Google Photos. And then it breaks out into each of these takeouts for different dates that I did the download. And then some of these were just individual ones. So that's my main folder. Whenever you do a search for something, look in here and you'll see search Google Photos. So that's, it's going to search in that main folder if you want to do that. Because I've got so much data in here, I'm going to do it by individual folders. So I'm going to click within the folder that I want to do, which was 12, 15, 19. And I want to search within 12, 15, 19. Instead of doing the JSON, just the JSONs or just the JPEGs, because the problem with the JPEGs, I should show you this, you might think this works really wonderfully, but I tried this, is that the JSON ones will also come out as JPEGs. So they get kind of difficult. So these JSON ones start showing up in here because their file extension is .jpeg .json. So you don't want to do that. So what you want to do is, if I want to search in, again, I'm going to search in 12, 15, 19. Let me get back up there so you can see it. 12, 15, 19. I'm going to put an asterisk in here, type in an asterisk. That pulls out every single file and that is in 12, 15, 19. Now you have a couple options. I've already done this, so then it's going a lot quicker. It's not having to, to pull them out. It'll take you a bit of time, like I have 5,000 in here. So now you can view and you can sort by, this is the first way I did it, was by type. So as you can see, it goes, oh, okay, well, these are all the... Um, folders, great. Let me scroll down. Let me find where the, these are all JSONs, as you can see here. Okay, let me get down to the JPEGs and let me highlight each of them and then, you know, sh hold down the shift cursor and then copy them over. Well, rather than doing that, I found that this was the easiest way, is group by type. This is lovely. I love this. So now I put them into different groups. So you can see from the carrot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them smaller so you can see. So let's pretend that I just wanna take out uh, QuickTime. So that I only want the QuickTimes. So if I put the carrot that shows all five that were in the folder of 12, 15, 19, and I can either highlight, hold the shift button down and highlight and drop and drag onto my desktop or hard drive if I wanna do that. Or, let me get it unclicked so you can see, unclicked, Ooh, go back. You can hit this main title 
on any of these, ping, mp4, click that, and it highlights them all automatically. It's just beautiful. So I'll show you again, like on ping. So the pings, none of them have been highlighted. Go ahead and click that, and then it's got every single ping that's just within that category. And then I can drop and drag it onto my hard drive, desktop, wherever, rather than getting these JSON files in there. So hopefully that can help you do it quickly. You can drag out all your JPEGs. Hope that helps.